This is my hour. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned in Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. I think this is pretty much the same function on most versions of Premiere Pro that are out uh, most people are using today, uh, but it is a little different from some, what some other video editing software does with audio. and. Uh, I'll show you in just a second here. I'm going to create a new project because for what I'm about to do, it does require that you have kind of a clean slate. So I'm just going to make sure that I browse to the right folder and keep it in the right place. So I'm going to have recover passwords. And what I'm going to be using is a program called Pluralize. Um, I'm going to just basically have a special folder for Pluralize here and we'll just call it that and we'll say it's Pluralize Unsynced. We're going to sync up audio to a video and we'll just create a sequence and we need to import our audio. This is the audio that I uh, showed you last week. So we'll just go into movies, footage fault, and the Chrome. And we'll bring in, this is the audio here. We're going to import that. And this is the video part here. So we'll put our video down here first. And then we'll drag our audio down here. And the audio and the video um, can actually just unlink this because I'm not using any of the video from that. It's black. Lens cap was on. But you can see that um, I have the uh, two audio tracks here. And they're not synced up. And I want them to be synced up. It's pretty easy. Basically, you just pile up your tracks and you can have multiple tracks. I've done up to say three different camera angles and a separate audio track and sync them up successfully using this. So basically, you just pile it all up at the beginning of the timeline, uh, right at the zero mark. You have your uh, audio track and then you're in this case i'm using one video track but you can layer a whole bunch of different other video tracks the key is that those video tracks also has to have audio they have to have audio you um you would just record it with the on camera mic or you know in this case i'm doing a screen capture i used my uh, webcam on my computer to store the audio so that way it has something to sync up to the high-end audio that I recorded with my microphone. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And to do this, you just go up to File, Export, Final Cut Pro XML. Uh, operation requires the project to be saved, so we'll save the project. Great. And I'm going to save it under in a pluralized folder as pluralize unsynced. So now I can minimize this and we'll bring up pluralize for Premiere. There's different versions for different programs. I'm going to open up the program. Uh, it's under pluralize unsynced right here. And it just has one sequence. Preferably you're doing this with a clean slate. You can import it into your other video project later, but this will just sync it right up. I usually keep all this other stuff unchecked unless my clips actually are chronological, but just for syncing up, you know, a couple basic tracks, try really hard and enable multiprocessing. And seems pretty simple. It just extracts the audio from the track and syncs them up together and puts it together in a new synced track. So it's already done. You can just hit exit. And if you look, there's a new folder there, pluralize sync temp. 
and you have uh, plural lies here. So now they have one that is actually unsync synced. So that's the one that we want. And we can go back into Premiere. Let's see, we can maybe make it window. There we go. And import that back in. So now uh, it creates duplicates of the original files, which is not necessary, but it does it anyway. But now we can go to this sequence and you can see that it has shifted uh, all of the tracks and they'll be synced up. NewDepthMedia.com and today I'm going to show you how to retrieve your stored passwords. So you can see that they're synced up. Uh, you can make sure that at the end it's still synced up. Leave them in the comments below and I read every single comment. I promise. And uh, one little tip that I'll give you if you want this to be successful is if you're recording external microphone, you know, inputs and stuff, make sure that you're recording at 48 kilohertz and that will uh, help you to, you know, 48,000 hertz will allow you to sync up to your videos pretty, you know, keep everything at 48,000, which is standard for video and uh, you should be able to sync it up. If you do it at 44 and then you have one that's 48, like for instance, most of the video files you record are gonna be 48 and you record like on like a Zoom mic or something at 44, then you're gonna have what's called drift. And you know, maybe it'll be in sync at the beginning of the file, but it won't be in sync later on in the file. So you'll have them kind of drift apart. Not good, so keep everything standardized at 48. You shouldn't have any drift. Everything should sync up just fine. Anyway, that's a real easy way to sync up your audio to your video. Now I can go in and uh, and get rid of my actual um, audio from my video file because I kind of don't need it. Then I can just use the audio that I just synced up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoy seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on MindPower.